I'm really sorry. Uh, this video is uh, like I'm I'm posting this video after so many months, and really sorry for that because I was uh, quite uh, busy in my like in other stuffs. And as promised, this video is about how to render charts in React Native in an easier way. And believe me, it's way easier than anyone can think of. Okay, so there's one prerequisite which we have to fulfill before even thinking of or rendering the chart here in React Native, and that is you just have to install this web view in here, okay? So all you gotta do is just go to npm.js, like you don't even have to do that. Just write React Native web view, web view, and this very first link that you see here, you just have to open it up and just write it down in the terminal, okay? And I've already done it, and you don't have to do, like set uh, set anything up after that. Just install web view, and then you are good to go. So the very first thing that you have to do here is you just import the web view, okay? And we won't be needing any closing tag here. It's a self-closing tag. Now, what to put inside it? First of all, um, before uh, moving any further in this video, I'd like to share one thing, and that is, if you guys want to support my channel, uh, you can, what you can do is just go to any of these links. Uh, you can just click on buy me an X and go here, buy me a coffee, Dot com. I'm, I've created a page here. You can support me. Um, five times one, five times three, five times five, or any number you want. For example, five times nine, it's $45. Uh, I'd really appreciate that effort of yours. The second thing that you can do is just click here on Get Me Designs and you can buy my stickers. Okay? Uh, for example, I really love this sticker so you can buy the uh, such stickers from here i've designed all of these stickers so like this one i've captured this so you can just buy any of them to really support me one more thing that you can do to support uh, this channel is just go to any video for example this one click on it and in the description there will be uh, these three links so if you have to buy anything from amazon just click on them for example if uh, you click on uh, this link okay if you have to buy anything just click on that link search uh, anything here for example you have to buy an iphone let's say like i'm just saying it okay then just buy this and i'll be getting an affiliate uh, commission uh, you can buy bean bags. You can buy a program, uh, a gaming chair, maybe. Okay, so it's up to you. Whenever you buy anything from Amazon, just go to this link, this affiliate link, and buy yourself a beautiful thing. It won't cost you any extra penny, but it'll support me. Okay, so let's begin with the tutorial. Okay, so. Let me give you a gist of what are we going to do in this tutorial. We will be rendering the charts basically with um, an API known as Apex Charts because it is an API meant for a web pages only. We'll be using web view inside React Native. Okay, so it's kind of a trick that I have made because once I was uh, trying to once i was um trying to render charts and as i tried looking upon the internet looking upon the youtube i didn't find any suitable way for example if i search here way to render charts in react native you see uh we don't have any particular thing for for that charts and graph if, if, if you go here or like if you go to this video like it's 
uh, somewhere it's about a library um, known as like that library don't really work well okay so I was really facing issues react native bar chart and like for bar chart it's really okay but when it comes to things like how to render stock market chart in react native by the way stock market chart is known as candlestick chart so if, if i say how to render candlestick chart in react native then you see only a few videos out there and from that as well uh, these are like uh, these two methods are way complex and way uh, more advanced um, topics way more advanced um, things that he applies there and that's why I, I, I really found these videos are way more uninteresting and that's why I had to invent my own way I'd like to say I like it's it's not my own way but yeah I like doing it like this so first of all all we have to do is just give it a source of HTML okay so inside the source of web view we can give a give a url or we can just write the html here so what i'll be doing is i'll be writing html here but for that i will be creating a new variable and the name of the variable is going to be new local maybe and for you guys like for, for making the video way shorter i have already copied this thing here just copy this and paste it down here paste it down here okay and now the name of the variable is new local so i'll be giving it the value of new local and believe me no one likes such light background colors so in style i'll be giving it background color of black maybe okay looks good to me let's see if it's if it works or not and voila it works it works now if you just type line here it'll be a line chart now what thing did i write inside of this new local okay so i'm hoping that if you know react native then you probably know html as well so this is nothing but a little bit of html in javascript here you can see that normal html uh, boilerplate a doc type html html head and script okay so what and from where am i pasting this script okay what is the source of this you don't have to do anything just go here and search apex charts the very first thing that you see on google you just have to open it up and just go to the docs this installation is for web version so don't install it just copy the script from here so this is the script that i copied from there inside our new local okay and we all know that for writing javascript we know or we we have you know, these script tags and inside this i have made a function that runs as soon as the window loads okay so window dot on load it is a um a function it is a property that html gives us that a javascript gives us and it renders as soon as the window loads okay and inside of that we have made a function here's the function and these properties these things these lines of code i haven't written them by myself all i've done is i just copied it from here this is the code just copy this and just paste it here up till here okay so you see we have this beautiful 
chart here and if I change any value for example if I just say uh, change it to 2001 you see we have this and if I say 2001 here as well um, okay I'm not seeing any changes here like you just have to zoom this thing I don't know whether or not you are just able to see this but this value have changed okay so these are the values for x-axis here for example if I say um, like change to 2004 then it has uh, been changed to 2004 again and yeah that's quite it and for the line you can just change these maybe okay so this is the data for y-axis and on the basis of y-axis we are having these um this line chart like you might be able to see the difference in bar chart maybe okay so 125 if instead of this if i wrote if i just write write down 102 here you can see guys it's 102 what if i say what if i change it to 30 you can see that we can just manipulate the data and play with a pl play around with the data so you can just play around with it what if i like make it pi okay so may yeah like we don't have any x or y axis in pie chart we have a different set of uh, data there that you just have to copy from here we are having loads and loads of uh, charts here like we, we are having many um, kinds of charts here line chart area chart bar chart column chart box and, and so on and so on okay just go there copy the code and just paste it there and you are good to go okay so yeah that was it uh, we just uh, close the function here then the script tag hat tag is closed body and inside body we have created a div that is rendering the chart ultimately like the chart is getting rendered inside this div and i've provided uh, the id of chart to uh, that div you can change it here if i want to make it um, new maybe new chart then i'll have to change it here as well new chart yeah it works pretty same that means we have um, done uh, this in a right way then you just have to close a body close html tag and then just close the back ticks and semicolon so that was it for the video i think this is the shortest video on this channel uh, uh, up to this date and at the end i just I'd, I'd like to add this thing and that is please support this channel by just going to these links and buying some stuff for yourself like go or go to amazon and buy yourself some crazy stuff and go to this get me designs link and buy yourself some amazing stickers and go and just visit buy me an x and buy me an x literally like if you want to buy me a book just select the cost of book here and uh, type uh, type down your name and name of the book for example your name is alex and you want to buy me a book named zero to one then yeah definitely i'll be buying that book and i'll be featuring that book in the video and i'll be thanking you so that was it for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll be seeing you in the next one thank you so much